Hi, I'm Pam Holt and March Adness continues. We're getting down to the wire now and tomorrow we'll have the top eight, the elite eight picks for the add-on uh, services that uh, hosts are most interested in having uh, with their short-term rentals. But today we're going to talk to our special guest, Eve Bridgeport. Eve Bridgeforth, or sorry Eve, with Events by Eve, and she's going to come on and tell us about her fabulous business. This is a great way for hosts to collaborate with a local, uh, or maybe not even local, with, a, uh, with an events planner so that they can provide the uh, highest, uh, most memorable guest experience for, uh, for someone who comes to stay with them. So I'm going to bring Eve on. And she's going to tell us all about some of the events that she's done and ways to collaborate uh, to enhance your guest experience. So hang on. Okay, Eve will join us shortly. I'm looking forward to hearing this because who doesn't love a great event? <laughs> there she is. Hi, Eve. Good morning, everybody. How are you? Good, good, good. It's great to meet you. Thanks for joining us. My absolute pleasure. I, I can't wait to talk to you because I think uh, what <laughs> you offer is such a great um, grouping. Uh, it's a mm -hmm. great strategy for hosts to find an uh, events planner and have them available for guests uh, should they have a birthday or an anniversary or um, just any kind of event. Um, I had a couple of different ca cases uh, where I could have used your help. I wish I'd known you then. I had some people come <laughs> in uh, for a graduation. And so they okay. asked if they could uh, decorate. And I was like, yeah. Uh, and so if I'd known you, I could have just said, you know what? How about we just, uh, we have someone plan a fabulous family event and then uh, I could be assured that everything would be safe in the house and they could be assured uh, just a fabulous welcome when they, when they entered the house or when they came back from the, the graduation and they wouldn't have to do a thing. So yeah. for hosts, I want hosts to know that they, can, um, that they can use a collaboration with an events planner in their marketing. And they can say, you know, this is the kind of thing that we do. This is the kind of events that we've done. You could show photos. You could build your story around uh, these special occasions. Um, we want to make sure that you're not, well, I want, as a host, I want to make sure that I'm not having straight up just parties, especially yes. during this time. We don't want, you know, hundreds of guests to show up. And that's what... Uh, people were using Airbnbs for until the mm -hmm. recent crackdowns. So we want to make yeah. sure that that doesn't happen, but we want to offer an experience, a memorable experience so that guests go away saying that was the best time ever. And it was gorgeous. And, uh, and Eve set it all up for us. So tell, <laughs> us, tell us about your business. Oh, well, um, I'm Eve with events by Eve and I've been doing this for a little over 17 years now. Um, it started off as just something fun to do on the yeah. side through Sounds teaching fun. school, through being a ballerina, through corporate America. And then um, I have a summer jazz series that kind of kicked off in 2006. And that wow. one of it literally kind of propelled me into the public eye. So wow. I had to make a decision, like, do I do this on the side or do I stay in corporate America? So I took the leap. Um, but I stayed on, on the side for about eight, nine years. Okay. And so I've been doing this with my own business, I think, for about mm, about 10 years now, or okay. 17 total since I got started. And then Summer Breeze, it'll be my 15th year anniversary. It was last year, but we had to cancel because of COVID. But we're going to try to do some other stuff this year. So that's kind of how I got started, and um, that's the short version of the story. Okay. So, okay. so tell us how you think event planners can work with short-term rental hosts. Do you think it's a good idea, or is it just me? I think it's a great idea. Uh, okay. Especially if you have a um, an Airbnb situation where you have a home, I think you can do it for all kinds of events, big and small. So, mm -hmm. say if a couple with their anniversary and they went to a, just a condo for the weekend, mm -hmm. and so as a planner, if you reach out to me or we can partner together, um, then I can set the tone for your experience. Whether it be um, a bottle of champagne, rose petals, a gift basket when you uh, wake up, uh, having a personal chef come and cook for you, okay. little things that you may not even think about. But because it's a special occasion, um, that would be something I would love to set up for you. Or if you have a home 
and it's summertime in Chicago, you want to have maybe 10 or less people over and there's a nice backyard, then we could come in and do everything from um, catering to floral mm -hmm. arrangements to design. Um, even if you want to just have a welcome basket at your Airbnbs, you know, welcoming your guests, have little soaps in them, bottles of champagne, toasting nice. food. So just little from the smallest thing, like a basket to bigger things, like maybe doing a sit down dinner for four people. But so nice. you don't have to do it at the renter for the weekend or whatever, then you can call on us to help make the experience be wonderful for you. Okay. So who decides um, what kind of experience and what's involved? Is that you? Is that the host? Is that you and the host? How do you, who makes that determination? I think it'd be with the host and who, who's going to be staying at their location. Okay. And once you have a good idea about what's going on, um, like, hey, um, it's going to be four of us. It's an anniversary weekend. Okay. Do you have any recommendations? So I think you need to have that talk in the front so kind of everybody knows what's going on. Okay. And then I feel like the host can then be like, oh, well, we work with blah, blah, blah. We can offer these amenities for you during your stay. Okay. And so I think establishing that at the beginning with your host and what needs they may have. Okay, so then if I, as a host, if I came to you and said, okay, Eve, it's, uh, it's an anniversary, uh, you know, what are we going to do? Where would right. you start? Well, how would you, what would you come up, what kind of things would you consider? I would talk with, you know, my client um, about like, you know, what are the favorite colors? Like, who is the couple involved? Um, is there a favorite color? You know, is there a favorite memory or moment? Mm -hmm. So I try to make those details personalized just for the couple, nice. whether it be menu cards with their names on them. Um, if there's, if it's a 20 year anniversary or something, there might be something special and we can go as far as if the husband was like, you know what, I want to do something really special for her and get some photos of us created. So when she oh, walks nice. into the space, those are different moments in our life. So we get, as long as I know what I'm doing, we can blow up life-size photos in black and white from the oh. time they had their first child to the day they got married, you know, all kinds of little things that the wife probably wouldn't expect. Oh, so now that would bring a tear to you. I, I have to so say, little if I things like in, that. <laughs> and I saw that, I'd be like, okay, first, dude is great. Yeah. And second, oh my goodness, uh, host is pretty great too. So, yeah. I, I, so that would be I fun for me. Be fantastic. So it can be anything you probably could think of. Um, so it takes the burden off the host. You just, you do what you do. And then let mm -hmm. us, you know, let me do what I do. And it could be something small, just roses when you arrive. And that might just mm -hmm. be it. Or, you know, and I know with Airbnb and COVID, you have to be very careful of guests and all that. Yes. But just having some limits on what you can or can't do. Mm -hmm. And as a planner, I make sure to work with you then. Like, okay, you know, we're sticking to the four people. So yes. I typically will come on site to set up and kind of monitor. And if I need to stay, if it's a dinner party, I would stay on site during the event if I need to. Um, if it's just two people for dinner, I don't need to be there. But I will set up all the arrangements for something bigger, like 10 guests. And I need to be on site to make sure everything goes according to plan then I would do it as well. Okay, so then the host doesn't necessarily have to be there. You will take on that responsibility. Absolutely. Right? Yes. yes. Okay, so that's fantastic because I like to teach, one of the ways I like to teach hosting is I like to teach uh, women to host to travel. So you might come okay. to my uh, home to <laughs> assist one of my guests. I might be phoning you from Paris talking about, I hope it's going <laughs> well, Eve, because you know, I'm going sightseeing right now. So right. uh, it is a relief to hear that you would take on everything because otherwise there's a level of anxiety and stress that happens when as a host, you're not there, but you want to create course. this guest experience, but you have to rely on, you know, uh, whatever your handyman or something to, to make sure the roses are there. That's, you know, no, just a handyman and then the rose ability, but I right. would really rather have an event planner where I knew it was set up right, where I knew it was going to be spectacular. It was going to be Instagram worthy. They were going to be talking about it, you know, at their 40th anniversary <laughs> and, uh, and they would take away a great experience. So I wanted to show just a couple of images from some of the events that you have. Okay. had in the past okay so hold on let's, okay let's see so it looks like you are gonna have a you work with a caterer or you have a caterer on yes i on work staff, with, how do you work so it depends on what the event is so that particular event took place at someone's home in january okay. um it was a young lady who was her i think 43rd birthday okay and she wanted a girly party but for the super bowl so That's she's cool. like, even I want to do Winter Wonderland for about 15 people. She has a nice-sized townhome in the Bronzeville neighborhood. 
So we brought in snowflakes. Uh, we brought in um, big things of um, baby spread that look like giant snowballs for the dining room tables with lots of candlelight. We did everything in white. We had white roses, and then she had we had a, a caterer come in and do the guests, you know, take care of the guests. And we had a bartender. We served the Winter Wonderland cocktail, which is a uh, white cadaver with chocolate with a vanilla um, vodka, yummy, and a cinnamon nice. stick. Wow. So for that event, I didn't stay, but I stayed there for the entire setup. And then, you know, we came back the next day to take in everything. So that was some of the food from that party. That is a fantastic idea. And I bet those guests yes. were blown away. And it was, uh, it was a lot of fun. Because you know, she could have just had wings and a and a TV. So you No, know, you can't have that when you have it. We even um, brought in white drapings when you entered her home. Oh it wow. looked like you're walking into like a winter wonderland. So it was it was really pretty and she was very excited. We had cupcakes with snowflakes on them and oh. we had bling and sparkles. So she had a good time. But the guys could still watch the game and um you know, we had staff and we had the bartender on site and they stayed for the entire party and you know, everything Fabulous. went well. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. quite an event. Uh, <laughs> I know you typically do uh, larger events, but, yes. um, but I would think those same kinds of elements, the same kind of details that you, that you would be concerned about in a large event, you could also yes. incorporate in a smaller um, event. And, Absolutely. Um, so in my, uh, in my hosting strategy, uh, my guests are typically um, people coming in from out of town who are mm -hmm. attending conferences at McCormick Place because I live close to McCormick Place. So, okay. uh, you know, they're not, they're not doing the anniversary piece. But I right. do think um, there are things that, uh, that you could set up that would lend themselves to, like, team building and uh, maybe the celebration at the end of a successful, uh, you know, conference. Some of them are sales, um, sales scenarios at conferences and mm -hmm. things. And so they could have a big, you know, whatever. Congratulations on, you know, selling out whatever it is. And that could be in right. the unit when they, uh, when they get back from the last day of the conference. Uh, yes. Or j just a, a variety of uh, add-ons that I think would enhance the experience in a way that would blow them away. And when you're in, you know, as a, as a guest, when you're in some of the search platforms, Airbnb and those kinds of things, and you're scrolling, mm -hmm. and you're scrolling, and you're scrolling, and there's like a hundred different units, but you see in the headline in the first photo, you know, mm -hmm. we got your event here, or however you're going to set it up, you know, you know, right. celebrate your this at, at this Airbnb, then that's a fabulous way to stop a stroll. Well, I call it a scroll. So you're scrolling around. Stop that scroll. Right. Have that um, guest take a look at what you're talking about, and then uh, and then at that point you kind of reel them in with some of your photos of the other events and the things that you've done for them. So right, uh, right. I, I think what you could do would offer just a f great service uh, to host. So let's look at some more of the things that you've done. This is beautiful. <laughs> Okay, so that was, so last year, once we could open up again, mm -hmm. um, that was my client who gave her niece, who just turned 21, an outdoor brunch at the home. Nice. So they live out in the south suburbs, so you know, it's a nice size house. So we did a sit-down brunch for uh, 20 young ladies. Oh. So um, we brought in the centerpieces and the shivari chairs. We had a chef on site. We did a flower wall. Oh, so wow. those are the pictures from the deck uh, for that event. Actually, she just called me for this year on her own because she's turning 22 and wants to have a sit-down <laughs> Tiffany theme um, dinner at some okay. rooftop. So I'm looking for a venue for her right now. So, so that's what that picture is from there. Okay. So mm -hmm. she's like, 21 went so well. I got to do 22 big <laughs> also. Is that it? <laughs> you set a precedent there. She better be careful. <laughs> that's gorgeous, <laughs> though, because that's also something that uh, the host could do, depending on your space. Um, if, you're, mm -hmm. if your interior space might not accommodate uh, an event, um, in the way that you might need to consider doing something outdoor. Um, like you said, whether it's tented, because in Chicago you might sometimes need that tent, uh, or whether yeah. it's on a, a, a balcony, a large balcony, a roof deck, or patio. Mm -hmm. That would also, I think, be a, a, a really cool uh, situation for photographs. Like you could get some really nice moments and memories in an outdoor event like that. That'd be great. Great. And then also, I think even having fl flowers at the home or the condo or whatever, just having flowers when you enter the space. Um, you could do something as simple as having welcoming flowers 
for you. And I mean, it's just sometimes it's just a little things with a little note from mm-hmm. the host, like, mm-hmm. welcome to Chicago, you know, and, enjoy, you know, just all kinds of little things. It's all about the little details that are helpful, I think. It's absolutely about the, the details. And, uh, and it makes the difference between a very generic kind of situation which is, you know, certainly less than memorable, and then something that uh, guests could take away and, and, and be like, wow, that host was really thoughtful. You know, what a nice personal note and, uh, and a fabulous, you know, arrangement of flowers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It can be that simple. So I yeah. see these are Easter baskets, and that would be a cute thing to do, especially if you were family-friendly, if your listing's family-friendly, and it's uh, yeah. you know, Easter time, you know they're coming with some kids. That's super cute. Yes, we did those last, you know, last year we were stuck in the house, so there was no events going on. So I tried to think of creative ways to still reach my client base. So we offered um, Easter baskets nice. last year. So little Easter baskets for little people and big people. We had champagne Easter baskets for the grown-ups, and then customized Easter baskets for little people. If you were 12 oh. and you wanted lipstick and makeup, that's what you got. If you were over 20, then you may have gotten, you know, some champagne and um, some good diamond chocolates in yours. Oh, so then nice. that was fun. We did everything in pastel colors for the spring. So that was that was fun to do last year. That's really mm-hmm. cute. And if I were a host, I might say, um, Eve, can you set up uh, sort of an uh, Easter egg hunt? Can, can we do that for you mm-hmm. know family? I have a family coming in, and, and maybe you could have that already in place when they come in, uh, you know, they get off the plane, they get there, and they walk in, and they've got that set up for the kids. A That's great idea. Memorable. <laughs> that they're going to remember that. And that would definitely be a wow up. moment for yeah, sure. Yeah, the parents are going to be like, "I'm coming back next year. Save my spots." So. <laughs> oh, those are just uh, Mother's Day baskets we did last year. Oh, so wow. I did about eighty Mother's Day baskets last year. Um, nice. So again, because everything was closed. I mean, literally. I mean, Macy's was closed. I mean, everything was closed last yeah. year. Yeah. And so I sent out the e- email to my list and um. I think in total, because I party with one of my floors that was open, because not even mm. bakeries were even, I mean, everything was closed last year. So we did, those were $100 baskets, and um, they came with um, rosé, champagne, Bel Air, and chocolate scented candles, sachets for the drawer. Oh. Everything was customized per the mom. So I had to talk wow. with whoever was the gift giver. So we had a few first ladies, so I didn't put champagne there. I did sparkling cider instead. Mm-hmm. If they said, hey, her favorite color is this, then everything I picked even the candle was representative of that color. So oh, they love wow. lavender. And their, uh, their soaps were lavender. Their candle was lavender. So everything was really about the details and customizing all the details for each basket with custom tags that were dedicated to each mom on there. So it was oh. a lot of work, but it was fun. <laughs> it sounds like a lot of work, but what a, uh, what a nice, thoughtful thing, you know, when, you, when you're a mom and you open that and you think somebody's taking the time to, to know who you mm-hmm. are and know what you like. Oh, my goodness. That would get me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. It was fun. Yeah. Nice. Nice, nice. That's at, um, actually, that's at a peer space um, home. It's like the same thing as like a rental, but a client of mine rented out um, a home in the Wicker Park for three days for his wife's 40th birthday. So they stayed the entire weekend. So wow. night one was a pajama party for all the girls. Day two was a full-on 40th birthday party that had a Chanel theme to it, like the perfume. Mm. And so we turned the whole home into, like, that was the, the um, like, the den area. Mm-hmm. And then it had, like, three decks here. So it was late October, but, you know, still decent. We put a tent outside. We had live band. Um, wow. That was right. And so that was for the table set. That I worked with with my florist on that party. Yeah, that so that was a three beautiful. day. The next morning, they got up and the chef came in to cook breakfast for them and two other couples. And well, so you know what? A three day party? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> that's good stuff. Yeah. See, that, that's the kind of thing that you could offer, uh, I guess. Mm-hmm. Uh, you could say, you know, you're coming in town, it's a special occasion, it's a, it's a family gathering. Uh, you know, mm-hmm. uh, let's do it up big so that everybody you know, has, has something for them that they can enjoy and talk about and remember. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. Um, and I, and talk about, so, so the big part of what I do is I teach women to differentiate their listing. What is going right. to make you stand out? And, uh, and this kind of thing, everything that you're talking about is exactly what um, hosts should consider. And the thing mm-hmm. is, you know, you can build that in, in most cases, you can build that into your pricing. 
So yes. um, you can build it into your nightly pricing. Mm -hmm. uh, and so it's, it just is a part of, you know, what they pay and that they don't really feel a separate cost or depending on what they want to do and how elaborate uh, they want to do it, it can be a, uh, you can do a special price. Yes. So that's mm -hmm. in addition to your, um, av your nightly rate, you do a uh, pricing on top of that and it covers the event. And apparently mm -hmm. you come in and take care of all of the details. And, yes, I do. And then come back like, you know, magic and take it all away. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it, it doesn't yeah, get any better. Yeah, once it gets to that level, then I stay for the entire event until the caterers would leave and you, the house is back to normal. So we would not leave until, well, it's on, but if it's something smaller, like just flowers or, you know, you know, but if I need to be there, I would definitely stay, especially if we're talking about eight to 10 people at a home with more of a catering situation and lots of decor, then we want to be on site for the whole thing. Okay. All right. So here's, yeah. I, I don't want to stump you, but here's, here's, yes, okay. here's the scenario. Okay. So okay. I have uh, six guests coming to town mm -hmm. and I say, Eve, I want to do something special for them. Um, let's see there. Uh, I have a lot of guests that come from out of the country. So okay. um, maybe something that is uh, ties in Chicago, some of our mm -hmm. local vendors, uh, locations, mm -hmm. uh, you know, foods or whatever. What would you, what kind of stuff would you recommend? Well, I think Chicago is a world-class city to me. Yeah. I've been here since birth. And so I think um, I'm big on goodie bags. And I think one of the things you really could do is have um, a gift bag waiting for all guests when they get home and they can have their name on each one and then have everything, uh, everything Chicago like in the bag. So you could do um, you could do Garrett popcorn. You can get Garrett popcorn customized. Cause I do it a lot for clients. You could do. Um, what do you mean? You no, know, like flavors? Um, so you can get the favors, and then you can get your name on the through the corporate division. You can get your names on the on the popcorn. Oh So wow. I can do a lot, a lot cool. for weddings or for small parties, and um, it comes with a little pretty bag. You get the Chicago mix. Then Thank on the you. front of it, you can say "Welcome to Chicago," or if it's anniversary, you know, you could whatever you want to put on there, you can put on. There. Okay, and then we can do nice. frames in this one bag. Um, and then have their names on it. So when they hit the door, that's the first thing that welcomes them. Then you could also do in that bag, you know, my, my 10 favorite things about Chicago. You might want to recommend, okay. you know, museums or your favorite restaurant or, you know, I mean, Chicago between sports and uh, architecture. I mean, the city alone just has so much to offer. So I think a welcome bag is one way to really nab your guests when they hit the door with all these goodies in it. Nice. Um, but then, you know, they can pull it out, you know, as opposed to like, I wonder what's here. You know, I don't know. So you might have on your list, my 10 favorite things are, list your favorite steakhouse or this great, you know, tour on the river or whatever that is. And we could put all those together and customize it and have, you know, your name on it as the host and have it as a gift bag. So then I think that would be something to start off the, the weekend for especially people coming out the country. That's cute. Shy town swag. I like it. That's a great yeah. idea. <laughs> yeah, those are fun. So, fun. Well, what's, what's, the, what's the best way uh, for hosts to work with an event planner? You know, do, do you just, um, would you suggest sort of a collaboration? Uh, do you want to do, do you suggest they do it every single time? They build it into the price, work a la carte, something much more custom? Um, how how would you want to work with the host? I think to collaborate with the host, him or herself, um, to do it that way. Um, because then you just don't know what a client may be looking for unless you know in the beginning, like, hey, you know, we're coming into town for this weekend for this anniversary. Mm -hmm. And then, um, and because as a planner, there's so many different things we can do, whether it's just flowers and that's it, or as big as having a dinner party for six. I think you can add it to your listing as, um, you know, a, a special events, um, mm -hmm. prices to be determined because you don't know what it is yet. Okay. And until I know what I'm really doing, you can't really price out anything. Right. right. Um, so I'd like to collaborate with, you know, when you get that, that email, like, oh, someone's coming and they say like, hey, we're having 10 people, it's a birthday. Mm -hmm. And then, okay, well, we're connected to, you know, events by Eve or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then you and I can collaborate about what that may look like, depending on what their needs are. The same way I would work with a regular client who's having a birthday party at their house. Okay. Until I know what we're really doing, I can't say. So you might just want to have a, as a listing as part of when have we do our 
um, availability. We do work, you know, I work with the planner and we love to accommodate all your special event needs, you know, okay. as we discussed. And so do it that I, way. I would tell hosts then to put that up in your listing, put it up in that first paragraph because, um, or even if you can figure out a way to, to tie it into your headline, because uh, you're not going to get the opportunity for guests potential guests to scroll down to the bottom of your listing to find out that you have this fabulous collaboration. So get it in there early. Um, as a, include photos if you've already had some events uh, in your, um, um, maybe your top five, because those are the five that, that show, but certainly by photo six, have if you've had a fabulous event, get that in there for sure. And really make it a part of your story. Um, and that is how you will stand out. I guarantee it. Eve, it's been great talking to you. It's been so much fun. I'm so glad to, that you had me. And I've enjoyed talking with you and your audience today. Yeah. How can people um, reach you to work with you um, in some of your fabulous events? Where are you? So you can, I'm on, um, I'm on Instagram, events by Eve. Okay. Um, I have a website, which is eventsbyeve.com. Okay. Um, and on Facebook, um, I have a couple of pages because I do weddings too. So you can find me at Events by Eve on Facebook okay. or at Events by Eve Weddings. Um, ah. And it's pretty easy. Events by Eve and everything pretty pops up pretty good. And you can email me directly through the website okay. and you leave your name and the phone number and I'll respond back within 24 hours. And, and I do have a number too, office number, which is 773-933-4781. But that's on all the sites. Okay. So whether it's the website, whether it's Facebook, uh, my number and the website are on everything. So you should, um, I'm pretty easy to find. Fantastic. Okay. Mm -hmm. Events by Eve, Eve Bridgeport. I'm so happy to meet you. Can't wait happy to work to meet with you. you. As well. And uh, I want to thank everybody uh, for joining us today and, um, and listening to Eve and her, her business and her, uh, her great ideas. We're going to be back on, we're getting down to the last few services and then you will pick who wins uh, the uh, ad, March Adness, who's going to be the victor. <laughs> so take a, take a look back at the stories and, and find out we'll be voting real soon. And, um, and we'll see who, who prevails. I don't know. This events planning stuff is really good. I, it's really going to be <laughs> memorable. So like, I don't know, Eve, you might be up there in the running. I think so. So I, anyway, everybody, thank you. <laughs> thank good you so much. We kind of look forward to working with you and seeing you soon. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Take care, everybody. Okay, everybody. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye-bye. Hi, I'm Pam Holt, and March Adness continues.